understand you're having difficulty with the warp drive. How much time do you require for repair? There's nothing wrong with the bloody thing. Just know this ship like the back of my hand. Hello, computer. Just use the keyboard. The keyboard? How quaint. How long would it really take? An hour. Oh, you didn't tell him how long it would really take, did you? Oh, well, Scotty. Now you've done it. Aye, the haggis is in the fire for sure. Computer. Shut this bloody thing off. And greetings, everybody, and welcome to another Jester Reviews. And uh, yes, it's been a long time coming, and uh, I apologise for the delay, but uh, here we are now. And this is the Temerian Deep Space Cruiser T6. And uh, as most of you may be aware, I acquired this in the December winter event. And yes, I've been uh, putting this ship through its paces, albeit on a, um, a character that I haven't been using for quite some time. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to give it a fair old shake of the stick, so to speak. And um, yeah, I, I have mixed views about this ship. Um, I do like it. I was excited about it when I first learned that it was coming to Star Trek Online. Um, yeah, I must say, I was, I am, I am a little disappointed, um, but that is tempered by the fact that this is a free ship. So, as I always say, you cannot look a gift horse in the mouth. Shaka, when the walls fell. Uh, yes, quite so. Uh, now, this ship featured uh, in the... 102nd episode of uh, Star Trek The Next Generation uh, under the episode of Darmok or Darmok Darmok, yes, Darmok and uh, yes, it was uh, a little confusing to begin with but um, Darmok at Tanagra yes, yes, quite so yes it, it, it does look okay to be honest with that I, I, I quite like it I, I've just got mixed views over it I'm, I'm not quite sure why but anyway uh, it is what it is isn't it so here are some details about the uh, Temerian Deep Space Cruiser it's a tier 6 ship um, hull modifier of 1.4 shield modifier of 1.2 5 weapons to the front 3 to the rear 4 device slots uh, you get a Lieutenant Commander Tactical Station, a Commander Engineering Station, a Lieutenant Science Stroke Intel Station, uh, an Ensign Universal Station, and a Lieutenant Commander Universal Stroke Command Station. That's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, the Command Station. Quite like the idea of that one. Um, consoles, you get f uh, four Tactical, five Engineering, and two Science. Uh, impulse modifier of 0 0.14 and an inertia rating of 35. You get plus 10 to weapons power and plus 10 to shield power. The console is the universal <laughs> universal universal polarity coil generator. Um, yeah, I'm not sold on that. Don't like that at all. Um, uh, but you know, it's up to you. I personally don't like it. It's not my cup of tea. Um, right, so what we got here, Inspiration Abilities, Kalimast at Baha, Turn the Tide, Zinda, his face black, his eyes red, against all odds, uh, Baz, Baz, what's that, what's it, what's that, Baz Minty, <laughs> when he pulled back the veil, battle preparation. So, the Cruiser Command Arrays, uh, Mirab with sails and furl, strategic manoeuvring, Zinda at peace before the ordeal. Shots free shield frequency modulation apparently. Uh Baz Basminti, I keep thinking that's Basmati. Uh, Basminti, his secrets kept close. That's weapon systems efficiency. Uzani, his armies with fists open. Yes, attract fire. My word. Uh anyway. Uh, Starship Mastery Package Cruiser, the River Tamaki Winter, dot absorptive plating and kinetic physical damage resistance rating. 
Uh, these are the traits, by the way. Uh, Uznak, resolute on his path. Rapid repairs plus regeneration. Keto, his just refusal. That's right, isn't it? He's just refusing. It? Enhanced plating and plus energy and radiation damage resistance. Uh, Kazani's children, their faces wet. Armored hull plus maximum hull capacity. And Darmak and Jalad, starship trait. Yes, we'll have a we'll have a quick look at that. <laughs> okay, looking at the traits, I think we've covered these traits. There's nothing here that. Brings to mind, which um, really over excites me. To be perfectly honest with you, regenerate. Yeah, that's not cool. And the trait, uh, unshielded hits, debuff four, and reduce captain ability cooldowns. Disable for six seconds. To target minus thirty three point three all damage. Yeah, to sell. Yeah, I, again, it's. I'm not particularly fond of this trait either. So, again, I can't look a gift horse in the mouth because this is a free ship. So, uh, but I, I, I won't, I won't be using this console or this trait for any of my other builds. Um, but, you know, the idea of me, me doing this uh, review is for your purposes in the future. Because if this ends up going into the muds market. Uh, then you've got a fair idea of how, well, how I personally feel about it, but it's entirely up to you. Um, to be to be fair um, to the ship, this the, I think the reason why my opinion is slightly coloured um, of this ship is because it's on one of my um, lesser characters, and I don't have no ISOs uh, on this, and I, I think I only have a couple of. Uh, tactical vulnerability locators so um, I probably I'm not getting the full benefit of this ship and likewise I've not taken it up to a T6 uh, XU either um, I'm holding those back for my uh, premium ships to be fair having said that in the recent Jipuri challenge um, which I did on uh, advanced with no upgrades, she certainly held her, her own against some of the other T6X ships. Um, and I'll show you those statistics uh, later on. Right, um, so as I said earlier, we can't go to the ship's doctors. Ship's doctors? <laughs> ship's tailors. And yeah, the bridge is yeah, it's just the standard bridge, so there's nothing there to write home about. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's take her into battle and uh, see how she performs, shall we? So here we are on the Jipori run. Enjoy!
Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that little run there. Uh, again, not a bad run, considering this is on one of my lesser characters. And, yeah, the, the time for that was 2 minutes 56 seconds for the Jipuri Challenge on Advanced. Um, now, most of you may be thinking, well, that's not that's not really good is it uh, but when you put it into um, against the other ships which I've got in fact I'll tell you what we'll do I'll show you those now shall I so here we are and there is the Temerian Deep Space Cruiser she's at 25th place uh, which isn't all that bad considering she's a T6 uh, just behind the Vadwa Miracle Worker Juggernaut which is actually a T6X which I've forgotten to uh, which I've forgotten to add that uh, so the Miracle Worker Juggernaut is at 2 minutes 42 uh, doing the Jipuri challenge on advanced and the Temerian also, also on uh, Phaser Beam Overload take three so here we are uh, and there you see the, the Temerian deep space cruiser T6 is at 25th place on a phaser beam overload at 2 minutes 56 and um, yeah please uh, don't think well that's not really good really is it she, but she is in really good company because at in 24th place we have a Vadwa Miracle Worker Juggernaut at 2 minutes 42 and again at 22nd place we have the Section 31 Command Heavy Battle Cruiser now that is a T6X ship as is the Vadwa Juggernaut which I've forgotten to put on um, as is also the Praetor Command Warbird Battle Cruiser so um, I'm under no illusion whatsoever that um, if I were to equip this with some ISOs or uh, vulnerability locators and, and put this on a um, a higher a higher uh, graded um, character this ship will easily make the top 20 on this list um, maybe even top 10 I suspect um, so yep keep your eyes on this list keep tuning in as i as i grow this list and as i review more ships and do the japori challenge with these other ships um yeah it gives you a rough idea of of, of how they're performing and um yeah don't be afraid to do your own japori challenge and drop me a line below the times that um, you're racking up on advanced um i may look at elite later but uh, for now i'm just keeping it on advanced i mean let's have a look at the top 20 list anyway uh, bear with me so here is the top 20 list so far um, so as you can see we have we had an impressive turn up for the legendary Avenger Miracle Worker T6X2 with ISOs um, yet yeah, ninth place for the Bozeman Intel heavy frigate again with ISOs uh, but that's just a normal T6 um, yeah, the La Serena, you can see we've now moved that up to 12th place. She was languishing in the uh, lower echelons of this list. But uh, with putting her with ISOs, she's moved up to 12th. So I think when we upgrade her to a T6X2 and uh, yeah, give her a little bit of a boost, you may find her in the top 10, as, as indeed will most of these other ships. So, yeah, keep an eye on this list. I'll keep putting out for you um, these times that um, I get for these ships. And hopefully that will give you a rough idea of how these perform um, when you want to think about purchasing your own ships. Um, the ones that you see in light, light blue there, or sorry, the lighter coloured ones, they're the ones that I've upgraded to T6X2. So as you can see, I've only managed to do a couple of them at present. And uh, yeah, I'm working my way through them, honestly. As well as adding the ISOs to them as well. So um, yeah, you, you'll be able to work out yourself just how um, you can put together your builds. And just where they fit in the grand scheme of things on your Jipori challenge. So just before we go, I thought I'd bring you a little bit of news. Uh, the Picard bundle um, is on sale 
uh, it's been on sale from the 6th of February and it's, it's on sale until February the 13th on all platforms. Um, yeah, I have, al I have already got this bundle and um, yeah, I, I do quite like it actually, but a lot of people don't. Um, there is also a bit of an issue about the Tommy gun and I must admit, yes, I was slightly vexed by this. When I purchased this bundle, I assumed the Tommy gun would be an account unlock. But it's not. It's only available for one character. Now, I have heard a rumour that this could possibly be changing. But um, I haven't actually looked into that yet. So, um, yeah, I'll get back to you on that. So, this bundle contains the Mirror, Mirror, <laughs> Mirror Theta Heavy Raider. That's a really cool ship, actually. I quite like that. The Galaxy Exploration Cruiser Retrofit T5. Yeah. Uh, I quite like that as well actually. Constellation Heavy Cruiser Refit T3. The Galaxy 2368 Ship Interior. Open Jacket Uniforms. The Next Generation Season 1 Uniform. The Next Generation Series Uniform. And All Good Things Uniform. So that's quite cool. Um, anything else on there? Uh, Oh, we're happy to announce that the Tommy gun in this bundle will be made uh, retroactively retroactively bound to account and reclaimable. This will roll out first to PC and then at a later date to console. So keep your eye on the patch notes. Uh, but just to reiterate, if you've purchased this bundle in the future or have purchased it already, your Tommy gun will become reclaimable on your whole account at some point soon excellent excellent so yeah i'm quite chuffed over that um so let's move on to the next piece of news shall we so as of the 7th of february you can now create yourself a klingon recruit which is part of the klingon recruit event and these recruits can be recognized by the klingon symbol next to their names all klingon recruits will have an inherent bonus trait during the Klingon recruit event uh, of periodically granting a cache of dilithium or upon defeating enemies a bonus which extends to your entire group the recruits mysterious patron appreciates uh, the allies of their ally uh, this trait will only be available during the event and will be gone once the Klingon recruit event ends so gather your dilithium all while you can so that's quite cool. Um, you also get yourself the uh, Machella Refit Bird of Prey. Um, I actually have to do a um, review of this because I do have a Klingon recruit and I do like this ship actually. And this is a T6 ship. Um, yeah, I won't go into all the stats for you because um, yeah, I'm trying to reduce the uh, uh, time of my videos. But yep, yeah, there you go. If you create yourself a Klingon recruit, you get yourself a free T6 ship and some bits and pieces of dilithium as well. So, uh, yeah, that's another piece of news for you which you may find useful. And finally, the final piece of uh, news I have for you, which is really good news, I think, and uh, one that has really tweaked my interest. In fact, I'm, I'm quite pleased about it, to be honest with you. Uh, relates to this year's event, Star Trek Online event. Now, in previous years, you've had to participate in four events in order to be able to qualify uh, for a free ship. So you, 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 you've got... a you got 1500 lobby a, a t6 coupons or a t6 infinity promotional ship of your choice this year instead of four events there'll be six uh, and once you've completed those you'll be eligible for all three awards yes you've heard that right all three you'll be able to get all those ships um, instead of choosing one you'll be able to get all three so you know technically i'm saying three um technically let's have a look what do we uh, let's have a look here uh so you used to get uh tier six and finish your promotional ship of your choice so there we go so we got you used to get one uh tier six infinity promotional ship two free t6 star coupons 
or 1500 low buy now this year you'll be able to get so potentially four ships your infinity promotional ship your two uh, T6 Zen store coupons and you'll be able to buy a ship uh, with your 1500 low buy just for participating in these six events so we've gone from four to six but you're actually getting um, more prizes excellent really pleased about that and the first of these events starts on the 15th of February and it's all the line at Parvo so um, once you've completed this uh, these events let's have a look so there'll be a ground event or a peril over parvo space tfo so it, both of those are quite cool actually i do i do prefer the ground one to be honest with you but uh, yeah it's entirely up to you um so uh da, 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 each one, right so yeah that's fine that's fine we understand that let's have a look event towards this is what <laughs> this is where i want to be so we get an omnidirectional parv parven photon beam array Mmm, photon. Uh, Parvin photon energy torpedo launcher. The console universe, universal parvo crystal battery. Mm. Three times featured tier four reward boxes, single character reward. Uh, each gives a choice of one time specialization point or enhance it. Okay, yeah. 25,000 dilithium ore. It should immediately for you as you see fit. Right, okay. Mm. so the yeah the omnidirectional parvon photon beam the problem I have with this photon beam is um, there's no ISOs for this or vulnerability locators there's nothing to buff this yeah you don't I, I don't we don't have anything I don't think I'll have to have a look but I'm not quite I'm not sure we do no, I don't think we have anything that buffs photon. I might, I think I might have the odd, odd, odd thing, but I'd have to have a look. But yeah, you, you, I, you definitely can't get ISOs for that. I've not seen any ISOs uh, for uh, uh, proton buffs, and I haven't seen any vulnerability locators. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's a little bit of an anomaly to me. I do have some proton. Uh, weapons which I've picked up uh, which you can get through your Dyson's reputations tab but uh, I don't hardly use them to be honest with you because yeah there's nothing hardly to buff them uh, so we get a Parvin Proton Energy Torpedo Launcher uh, Parvin Crystal Battery this technology incorporates Parvin Crystals into energy storage and distribution systems that can be linked to your ship's weaponry these crystalline charges provide additional benefits to your ship's weapons including a slightly faster si firing cycle I like the sound of that and reduced recharge time for cannon firing modes as well as a hefty bonus to any proton damage you inflict so that does give a little bit of proton damage I'd have to see if this hefty bonus more or less outweighs the ISOs that you could have. I doubt it will, but uh, that's probably why they're giving you a hefty bonus uh, for proton damage because yeah, there's hardly anything that buffs proton. Uh, but yeah, anyhow, let's have a look here. What is this? The two-piece set bonus power variant intercell bombardment beam. Uh, call on the devastating defensive capabilities of the living planet Parvo. Uh, forgive me I've just read this very quickly uh, never, yeah sort of a chain in effect concentrate on chosen tags for a few seconds detonating larger or additional to other nearby enemies hmm I'll have to see how that works I'll have to see how that goes and the three piece set bonus Having all three items are quick reduces the cooldown on the Parvin interstellar bombardment beam for 60 seconds and causes it to consume all stacks of resonance charge on hit. The damage of the, um, the PIBB increases for each charge consumed this way. 
Hmm. Let's have to see how that goes. So, uh, the big thing I've taken from this, of course, um, is the event campaign. Excellent news. Well done, Star Trek Online. I must admit, I've had a few issues, which you can just see there to the side, um, where I've had uh, some of my ships sticking because of server issues. And in fact, as you can see there, um, I even have myself standing outside of the space station and that stuck for a while I couldn't get that sorted out as well as the crashing that I've had so yes I've been slightly turned off by Star Trek Online for some time which is probably why I haven't been doing as many um, reviews as I should have been but this is now uh, this event campaign news has restored my faith now uh, a little bit so I'm so pleased well done to Star Trek Online so on that note yes i'll leave you to the rest of your day um please as always don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button for me and uh, yeah give us a like as well because as always that does make my day and uh, speaking of days the one under two moons uh, yes Jerry yes thank you, thank you. speaking of days i'll leave you to the rest of yours so until next time this is Jester signing off. Darmok, Mirav, Tamok. <sighs> we are strong now. We are Klingons. I am a Jem'Hadar. I am an android. We are bored. I am a dog. We call ourselves the Cube. We seek peaceful coexistence. We are back. We are not strong.